Welcome to another American Beauty resistance soldering demonstration video. All right, this application, you can see this is uh, one of the finished parts here. The one they sent is this one. You can see how discolored it is. And they're actually using a, like a turntable or turnstile and a flame soldering device to do this. And they want to try and refine this, uh, be more efficient, and don't have this discoloring uh, aspect. So they give us several uh, samples to work with. We're going to try a couple of different hand pieces. We're using the uh, 105B2 power unit. What I'm going to do is uh, these little brass rods, or 8 inch brass rods, that are going into that, well, I'll call it a bell. You want to clean that first, even though they look shiny. You want to make sure you get the oxides off there so the solder is going to properly wet to it. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put that part way into the cup for alignment, and then their fixture has a stop in it, so it's only going to go down so far. Now, they're currently using a soldering paste, and so we'll do this with the paste. We just want to put a little dollop of solder paste on there. We'll go ahead and put a little bit on both sides just so you get good saturation on it. Now, we're going to do the first application using the 105-127 tweezer style handpiece. And we've gone in and we've filed the electrodes so that it'll kind of match the diameter of that, of that pole. Okay, and that's gonna give us a little bit better uh, thermal control and saturation into the post. And I got good flow, you can see it's nice and shiny, so I know I got good solder flow. Now I know that they can't do this with that uh, flame heating part, but see I can actually touch this bell, okay? My intense heat is localized enough that it's not going to saturate out and around that, uh, that bell. Now it's a little warm, but it's not uncontrollably hot. So there's the first one. Now what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to use the same hand piece. So I've got the same power unit, same hand piece, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a preform. And what this is, is I took some of the solder and I wound it around these little uh, brass mandrels. I'll show you here. You just wind the solder around the piece that you're going to be using so it's the right size. And then you can just slide that off and clip those apart. And now you've got your own ready-made preforms to use. So we've got a preform on here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of flux on there because there is flux inside of the solder, which is uh, rosin core solder wire, but I want just a little bit of flux right in the joint so that that's going to kind of help draw that uh, solder where I want it. When it first starts to, to melt, the uh, flux isn't necessarily going to be um, in contact with the material. So we add that little bit of flux there just to kind of help this along. Again, the same hand piece, the 105, 127. You see, that was even faster. I think that the uh, solder paste performs a little bit slow in, in some situations. This has to be one of those situations. So we've got two of them done with that hand piece. Now what we want to do is we want to do the same application again, and we're going to use a different, a uh, little bit of a different setup. We're going to use a different hand piece. And what I'm going to do, we'll set this off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a return harness, this clip, and I'm going to put it on their fixture. So I've got some continuity here. Tighten this back up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be able to use a single electrode style handpiece or probe system to do this same application. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the brass rod in, locate that back on top, and we'll do the same thing. We'll start with the paste, a little style of the paste, and a little more on the other side. Okay. And I'm using the same power setting. 
that I did with the tweezer. I want to come in here and I, uh, same thing, got a little bit of a, a radius in the electrode to fit that, uh, that brass rod. Okay, there we go. That's with the paste. And we'll do another one. And this one again, we're gonna use the freeform on it. And we'll once again put just a little bit of flux on there. And that's probably just about as fast as you can do that type of an application.